Starting from left to right, most PEX tubing commonly lists their manufacturer's name. This name is followed by the manufacturing lot and the date the tubing was manufactured. The next set of numbers specify the tubing material's designation code, which corresponds to chlorine resistance, 1 to 5, UV resistance, 1 to 2. The third and fourth digits are for hydrostatic design stress, in which numbers vary. For example, PEXOP PEX has a 4535, meaning its chlorine resistance is a 4, UV resistance is a 5, and hydrostatic design stress is at 35, which is almost six times as much as regular non-barium PEX tubing. Compared to oxygen barrier or non-barrier PEX tubing, which has a 5006, this states that the chlorine resistance is at the highest it can be, while the pipe offers no UV resistance and a hydrostatic design stress of 6. The application that the pipe is made for would be listed after, whether it is non-barrier, oxygen barrier, or PEX alpex, followed by the size of the pipe. Next, the increments show 200 PSI at 73 degree Fahrenheit. This explains the pipe's ability to withstand pressure and degrees, respectively. In other PEX tubing, the parameters are different, consisting of 160 PSI at 73 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 PSI at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, you will see an ASTM, which stands for American Society for Testing and Materials. This lets you know where the pipe can be applied and to which extent you can use it, or rather cannot, depending on your local codes. CSA is listed after standing for Canadian Standards Association. This applies to the thermal pressure compendium of the tube, which means that the tube has been tested for regulated usage within certain parameters. NSFR US PWG CL hyphen TD RFH UP code. This code listed next refers to the tubing meeting lead requirements and also acts as a listing agency in chlorine rating. This has largely to do with potable water certifications. Now I will grab the non barrier PEX tubing to show you something else. If a SDR is spotted on the tubing, it stands for standard dimension ratio, which corresponds to a method of rating pressure piping. The number following the SDR lets you know the ratio outside the diameter to the wall thickness is that many times to 1. Here we have it as 9 to 1. If you're using oxygen barrier PEX tubing, then you will have an oxygen barrier specification such as DIN4726 listed. This has